Lydia Ko isn't the only player on the LPGA Tour singing New Zealand's praises. Paula Kramer, a.k.a. the Pink Panther, also has her own unique Kiwi connection. Kramer's physio is a New Zealander and is always going back and forth from overseas visiting her home country. So naturally, the US Open winner wanted to go and see what all the fuss was about for herself. I learned so much about the, the country that my husband and I took our honeymoon um, there and it, it was amazing. It was the best trip I think we've ever been on. I can't wait to go back. The food, the people, everything about it, there wasn't a bad thing. I think the bad thing was we had to come back home. You know, that was probably the worst experience is getting on that plane to come back home. And her honeymoon in our backyard gave Kramer the opportunity to try some different things you don't often get on the other side of the world. I've never been in rapids. I've never been in you know, river rafting and all of that. And uh, we went on a grade five, and I think I'll never forget that experience of tipping and all of this and getting under. Uh, it was crazy. But I would, I'd really say my best experience was just the fact that it, it didn't matter where we were. The people, we could look so lost, and they would come and help us. The food, the wine, you know, just being there was obviously very special for what we were doing on our honeymoon. But everybody made it so nice. The Pink Panther and her new husband weren't the only golfing sensation stepping foot on the green grass of Aotearoa. Kramer bumped into a fellow major winner at the airport just as they were leaving the country. We met um, Greg Norman after we took you know, the Hilo ride and you know we get down in the little Latini airport there and there he was and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is the chances of this, you know? And of course I had to get my picture taken with him. I was very nervous, but uh, it was fun. It was cool to meet him there. Taking the Kiwi flavour back to the tour with Kramer is Lydia Ko. The current world number one started her professional journey on the LPGA tour when she was just 17 years old. And Kramer, who's seen plenty of talent come and go, is a Ko fan. Oh, I mean, Lydia, her demeanour is amazing. Good or bad, she's always the same. You know, she works really hard, but just the way that she goes about the game, you can tell she really likes it. You know, a bad shot doesn't really phase her, a good shot doesn't phase her either. Um, she has that mentality. It's fun to watch, you know, she's definitely got all kinds of shots, one of the best wedge players I've ever seen. But she's definitely making the Kiwis proud, that's for sure. Co is part of the LPGA's youth movement, and Kramer hopes that these young sensations still love the game when they get further into their careers. What I look at is longevity, and I'm, I'm hoping that the girls that come out so young, you know, they can still be out here another 10, 15 more years. You know, the life is, it's hard, it's not easy, it's not for everybody, but, um, you know, I remember when I first came out a rookie, you know, you had no expectations of anything. It's just go out and, and play the game of golf, and, you know, over the years, it kind of grows on you, and it changes things, but, it's amazing how young these girls are and how great they're playing. I really hope longevity-wise that they'd still love the game and there's still that passion. And showing plenty of passion in her first year on tour despite being starstruck, Lydia Ko was still showing the world what Kiwis are all about. It's a neat experience, that's for sure, when you first come out. Um, it is funny to hear her, you know, say, wow, it's so great to meet you and all this. I've watched you play and it's like, am I really that old too? And at the same time, but uh, she's definitely has said, you know, those things and those comments and that, I think that just shows how real she is and, you know, how human she actually is. People kind of forget because she is so good. Although she's trailing Lydia in the world rankings, the Pink Panther isn't ready to throw in the towel just yet. So much passion. There's so many things that I still want to achieve with the game. Um, I love what I do. I definitely am very lucky. Every day is a new exciting day for me, and um, I'm not done yet. There's no way. I'm just getting started. You know, I've made a big change this last offseason, you know, changing my coach and being able to, to get used to that's kind of been a little bit of a challenge out on the golf course, but sometimes you got to go backwards to go forward. While Kramer's career is far from finished yet, there is one standout moment that she'll never forget. A 75-foot playoff winning eagle heard around the world. Oh, the party at HSBC in Singapore. That was pretty amazing. I still can't believe that thing went in. The great thing is, you know, you see it all the time and every time it goes in, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. Catch Holden Golf World, Thursdays and Saturdays.